Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and happy Hanukkah! Well, almost. Alright, so the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah is almost upon us, and that means people giving and receiving gifts, lighting menorahs, eating gelt. But, you know, any Hanukkah gathering wouldn't be complete without the classic latka. And what is a latka, you might be asking? Well, bubula, let me tell you. A latka is a potato pancake. Yes, it's really quite simple, and it's usually fried, and it's really greasy and crunchy and delicious -y, and everyone loves it. I mean, I'm telling you right now, they do. So I wanted to now come up with something in the Instant Pot that would be latka friendly, but also a little bit different at the same time. Now, you don't deep fry in your Instant Pot. You can do a little bit of pan frying in there while searing some chicken and whatnot, but you're not going to get that traditional latka effect by doing it in your Instant Pot. So I've come up with something a little different. I've come up with something called potato pancake pillows. And why do I call them pillows? Well, because they're as fluffy and delicious and heavenly as a pillow. So how am I going to make these? Well, instead of deep frying them in the oil and making all the mess and splatter everywhere, I'm going to be using these guys. You might have seen these before with the egg things that everyone's doing, the egg bites. These things are amazing and they're actually a lot bigger than they actually might appear from looking at them like in photos and stuff. They're big. We're going to use these. And what's going to be amazing about cooking them in this is A, they're going to be super, super moist and super fluffy and B, you're not going to have to worry about any of that crunchy grease stuff everywhere. And don't get me wrong, I love a nice crunchy oil oily laka, but if you want a little more of a lighter alternative, which you can eat with your fingers and like, use like a finger food type of a thing and not have to worry about a lot of the guilt because we're already eating tons of starch and carbs in there, this is going to be a great way to go. So guys, without any further waiting, let's go to the Instant Pot, put on your yarmulkes and let's do the horror because we're about to make some potato pancake pillows right in the Instant Pot. Plus this covers my bald spot nicely. So we're going to start off with one egg and we're going to crack it into a bowl. Then I'm gonna add in one cup of a cold water. Make sure it's nice and cold. And then take a whisk and whisk it together. Great. Now we are going to add our next ingredient, which is potato pancake or latka mix. I like using streets. This is a great one. Or streets. You know, I should probably know how to pronounce it, but it's like Steen or Stein, the Jewish thing. It's hard to tell. Well, let's just call it streets. So what I'm going to do is, you'll see this is a six ounce box. That means there's going to be two three ounce packets in here. I'm just going to use one of them, and I'm going to open this packet up, and I'm going to pour it inside of our egg and water mixture. And in you go. And then take a fork and then just mix everything up in there really good. It's gonna start to thicken and get like a nice kind of potato consistency, almost a little doughy. And we wanna stir this for about a minute or so. And you're gonna see very quickly it's gonna start to form like a thick, doughy, like a porridge. Okay, and now that it's nice and mixed together really well, what I'm gonna do is let this sit here for five minutes while we prepare our potatoes and our onion. Okay, so while our potato mixture is blending, we wanna take now one actual Idaho russet potato and then peel it and chop it into chunks about this size. Now let's take one medium yellow onion, and then we're gonna have the onion, and then we're gonna coarsely chop it up just like so. Now we're going to add our chopped potatoes and onion to a food processor like bowl or blender. Let's put a lid on top of that, and now let's pulse it up. Okay, so we should be nice and good now. And let's get that lid off and Perfect, that's exactly how we want it to look, just like that. Okay, now what we wanna do is we're gonna wanna squeeze this dry to get all the water out of there. And we're gonna do that by taking some paper towels, some good ones, some nice durable ones that are really good, not like the cheap kind, get a good one or like a sieve. And then take our mixture and dump it onto it, just like so. And then make sure all of our chopped onion and potato goes right on top of those good paper towels. So now what I want to do is I want to take my paper towels and I'm going to engulf our potato and onion mixture in there and I'm going to squeeze it over a sink and you're going to see how much liquid's going to come out. Alright, so watch. I'm going to squeeze this now through and you're going to see a lot of water and liquid. It's going to start coming through kind of like it's a sponge almost. We want to make sure that it's all dry. Some of the potato and onion mixture might want to start coming through the cloth or the paper towel and that's fine. Just keep a good grip on it. Okay, really squeeze it. Alright, perfect. So now let's open this up again. All right, just open it up from the paper towels, and there you go. Perfect. It should be all nice and squeezed of all the water that is naturally inside of this stuff. So let's put this in a bowl and set aside. Okay, perfect. Perfection, just like that. Awesome. So now what I'm gonna do is now that our potato mixture that we did earlier has set, we're gonna mix that in with it. And now that the potato mixture is completely set, look at that. We're going to now take our chopped potatoes and onion and add it to that and mix it together. All 
All right, looking good. So now let's just add a few spices to this and we're gonna be ready to go. I'm gonna put in a half a teaspoon of seasoned salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper, a little of that goes a long way by the way, and an eighth of a teaspoon of dried parsley flakes, also goes a long way. And then just give all of that a final mix together. All right, and now that we're done mixing, we're going to put these in our fabulous silicone little pod-like things that are pretty much the latest rage right now due to the egg bites, but guys, these things have just found another use. So I wanna take my green silicone pot thingy and I'm going to spray it with some nonstick spray, each little hole. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna take a spoon of my potato mixture and I'm going to spoon it into each hole. Now these holes are actually much deeper than you might think they are, and these are gonna make some pretty sizable potato pillow bites. I love that term for it. So we're just gonna pack these in until they basically just hit the top of each. They're not gonna rise, so you're fine like this, okay? And now obviously make sure your hands are nice and clean. Okay, and there we go, nice and even and flush with the top. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it with some foil. All right, just put it on top. And there we go. Now the reason why we're putting foil on top is to prevent any water from all the steam dripping on top of our lovely, beautiful potato pancake pillows. Now I'm gonna go to the Instant Pot and I'm going to lay the trivet in with the handles facing up like this. And I'm gonna pour in one and a half cups of water. And then I'm gonna sit my lovely silicone pods right on top of the trivet. And now I'm going to secure my lid and I'm gonna turn the little nozzle where it's at venting now to where it says sealing. If you're on the Ultra, it automatically will seal itself. All right, now let's come down to our Instant Pot control panel and hit the manual or pressure cook button, depending on your model. And then we wanna adjust the time so it's on 20 minutes on high pressure. It's already on 20 minutes, so that's all we're gonna do. And by the way, these are gonna fit in both the six and the eight quart Instant Pots, you guys, awesome. So you see that each of these has seven pods, meaning seven potato pancake pillows, right? So let's say you wanna double it and make 14, that's totally fine. Just get the second one then, take two of them, and then offset it so you see how, though know, it's basically Basically alternate so if we did it like this they would fall and that would be terrible we want it to offset so the bottoms here are resting on the supports on the other one cover each with foil and then just cook it for an additional 10 minutes in the pot so we're gonna cook it for 30 minutes instead of 20 minutes so while our potato pancake pillows are cooking in the instant pot we're gonna go to our oven and now make sure that one of the racks are as closer to the top as possible for broiling because that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna come to our oven and we're going to broil and I'm gonna start that up and preheat it and now that we're done, let's perform a quick release. And the pin just dropped, so I'm gonna take the lid off. All right, so because it's gonna be hot, I'm gonna take some nice gloves, aren't they? This so pretty. And I'm going to take my trivets and I'm going by the sides, and I'm going to remove the silicone tray. And then just rest them on the surface here to cool for about five minutes. And then also remove the foil while our potato pancake pillows are sitting there and chilling out. And Mr. DeMille wants them to have a little bit more of a close up, so here they are. So while we're allowing our potato pancake pillows to cool in the little silicone cups, I'm gonna take a foil lined baking sheet and just spray it with some nonstick spray. And now that it's been about five minutes of cooling time in here, you're gonna see, if I just press from the bottom, how easy these things are gonna wanna pop out of there. You see that? I'm just gonna now flip them upside down onto our tray. So after we flipped it over, just press lightly on each of these little pods here in the silicone thing, these little indents here, and it's gonna help let the pillows slide right out. So how do we look? Oh! Boy. I mean, it's absolute perfection how they slid out of there, and already the body of them is perfect. Look, they're held together. So fantastic. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna broil them in the oven for a few minutes and give them a little bit of a brown color and more of like a crispy edge. All right, let's open it up. And we're gonna pop these guys in there, and we're gonna leave it in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. All ovens vary, so make sure you keep an eye on it. It should turn a nice, lovely golden brown. All right, and after 10 minutes have passed, let's get them out of the oven, and oh, those look beautiful. Let's pop them on the table. And there we have our beautiful potato pancake pillows. I'm just gonna lightly touch this, oh, nice and firmly crunchy on the outside, and it's gonna be nice and soft and melt in your mouth, pillowy on the inside. Let's let these cool for a few minutes, and then let's try it out. And look at how beautiful these guys are. That adorableness, the beautiful color, and you could easily pick them up with your fingers, a great finger food, ooh, and it's nice 
nice and crispy to the touch on the outside. It's gonna be nice and fluffy on the inside. Now I'm gonna show you an amazing little option here that we can really set these guys over the top with and give them a nice bar mitzvah. So now you see how each of these guys have a little indentation from the bottom of the silicon pods each one was in. When we press down on it, it creates this amazing little tiny little crater in there. So now what we can do to each one is we can take some applesauce or some sour cream and you can just spoon it inside of that and it's gonna sit in there beautifully because guess what? Potato pancakes slash latkes pair beautifully with applesauce or even sour cream. And there we have it guys, looking absolutely adorable. It almost looks like applesauce is like erupting out of these potato pancake pillows. Now like I said, you have the option to do whatever you want. You can just leave them plain, you can put some applesauce, you can put some sour cream, any way you want it. It just makes for a nice presentation and a great as a little pass around. And of course you could even dip it into more applesauce or sour cream, or double dip for all I care if nobody's looking. All right guys, I'm gonna try one of these out right now. And I do love this part of the video. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Okay, just look at the inside of this beautiful guy over here. I mean, it's incredibly fluffy looking, it's full of potatoes, it's moist, and the flavor, it's amazing. It's like I'm eating a potato pancake and a knish at the same time. If you don't know what a knish is, a knish is basically a bunch of like mashed potatoes wrapped inside of the, well, basically some dough and then put it in the oven or deep fried. And the best part about this thing is you shouldn't feel as guilty eating it as you would a latke because you're not dredging this thing in oil and deep frying it. It's completely the opposite. Yes, there's still a lot of potato going on in here, but again, it's not like you're Danny and Sandy and going off to indulge in some grease. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a big hit, guys. I'm gonna have another one right now. I feel like I have to have another one. It's so good. The color is beautiful. It fits perfectly in the hand. It's a nice size. And the kids are gonna love it. The grown-ups are gonna love it. Pretty much everyone's gonna love this thing. It's so convenient, so easy, and it's a healthier alternative. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, please go to PressureLuckCooking.com. I have a ton of recipes there. So easy to follow. And there's always a little Pinterest in. You can hover over any photo, pin it to any board. Super easy. Like me on Facebook. Go to Facebook.com slash pressure lock cooking and like the page you're not going to want to miss out on all the great stuff that pops up there guys you're going to see recipes popping up you're going to see some live videos helpful tips sales on items you're going to not want to miss that also i'm on twitter at pressure luck subscribe to me on youtube and also on instagram all that jazz thank you so much again guys and you know what honestly i think i'm going to eat eight of these right now because well mm, you know eight nights of hanukkah right mm. Mm.